Let's have a view from the Labour side then and former political secretary to Tony Blair. John McTernan, uh, good to see you, John, as always. I mean, how, how tricky do you think this is going to be? So the, the conference week is always a great week for a party because their stories and what's going on at conference dominates the news. And when you're on the up, you're united, you're confident, uh, you're brimming with energy and ideas. And when you're on the way down, you have stories about infighting. You have commentators chuckling slightly when they report, uh, as we just got in that, in, in that recent piece. People going, you know, reality, you see the reality of briefing in the Sunday papers by a bunch of people positioning themselves not to support the prime minister, to be, but to be the next leader of the Conservative Party. And the infighting, uh, which is coming out in lots of the, uh, uh, lots of the reports uh, this morning on TV, radio, in the papers, that's going to be coming out more and more during the week because what happens when you bring a political party together is you get all the politicians in one place, all the journalists in one place, uh, and you get people gossiping and drinking and gossiping. And so I think if you're indisciplined, conference magnifies it. If you're disciplined, conference magnifies it. So I think this is going to be a rocky uh, week for Rishi, and he has a long way, absolutely, uh, from being the Rishi Dishi of, of your. He's, he's a relaunch Rishi, and you should always fear being a politician uh, if someone says to you, boss, we want to do a relaunch, because I've never come across a political relaunch that's ever worked. It actually shows that you're weak and you're, and you're falling. And the question is, what's the, what's the message of this week? Um, and we know hanging over the week is the cancellation of HS2. So going to Manchester to threaten the cancellation of a major rail project seems to be not really great messaging. And that's what we've got to look for. What's the big themes and what's the little themes? What are the behaviours? Yeah, isn't it fascinating as well, though, because, I mean, this is one uh, election they really, really want to win, and yet they are looking so divided. It's the one time they need to look really, really united, and I doubt he can do that in the next four days. No, I think that's right. I think the... And I think the... Uh, we all know it from our own lives. The best discipline is self-discipline. It's impossible to make a party be disciplined. The party's got to want to be disciplined. And you'll see when Labour come next week, the sense of what happens when you feel on the up, when you're optimistic. This is what, what you're seeing in, the, in this week, I think, in Manchester. is going to be a party that uh, is impossible to discipline as cats are to herd. Yeah. <laughs> Fair point. I'll tell you what, though, which, which, which may well work in their favour, is there's not, a, there's not a lot of love for the Labour Party. Is there? I mean, there are clear dividing lines emerging, and the government's pushing that, but there's, there's no real love for Keir Starmer, and he keeps making these blunders, doesn't he? I mean, it was, it was all this business about we don't want to deviate from, from the EU w that he said a couple of weeks mm -hmm. ago was in response to a question you asked him. Exactly. And, and, and what he actually said, I think, is utterly uncontroversial. Um, Labour will not weaken labour standards. Uh, labour will not weaken food standards. Labour will not weaken environmental standards. Now, the Tory party made an incredible fuss about that, uh, the Tory the central office operation. I don't think there is a group of voters out there who get, you know, go shouting, what do we want? We want lower standards at work, lower standards of, of our food, and lower environmental standards. I think in contrast, you see the controversy around pumping sewage into the sea, pumping sewage into our rivers, that's been really bad for the for the government image and kind of at the moment there's a huge contest about you know what's what do you choose what's the best image of a government that's run into the run into the buffers is it hs2 being cancelled is it uh, sewage in the sea in the rivers or is it you know the concrete the crumbling concrete that's making schools unsafe to be in there's so many images uh, of decay uh, and neglect about our country that are the responsibility of rishi sunak and the conservative party and uh, is 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 Keir popular or unpopular? Is he doing his job? Well, he's on his third prime minister. Um, there's no, there's never been a Labour leader in opposition who's seen off two prime ministers and is in a substantial poll lead over the third prime minister facing him. So I think he's doing something right. And I'd say, uh, having had the turmoil of trust, having had party gates and all the breaking of the rules by Boris Johnson, Johnson the Joker. Now, with, 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 with Rishi and 
here you've got a choice between two men who are offering plans for the future, but Rishi can't fix the current day problems. He can't fix, he can't deliver his five pledges, so he's trying to change the conversation. Whereas I think at conference next week, you'll see Keir unveil the four or five pledges he wants to campaign on in a very voter-friendly way. There's lots of policy. They've now got to sell it. Uh, really? Keir Starmer's pledge is next. I would advise against anyone making pledges at the moment. John, it's great to talk to you. Thanks very much great indeed. Talking. Yes, all eyes may be on the Tory party conference at the moment, but I think the really interesting one is going to be the Labour Party conference.